Guys, big four letter word we're going to talk about today is stress. There's no doubt that if you stumble across this video or you're part of this program or you're working on making some changes in your life, you're dealing with a certain amount of stress. There's mental stress, there's physical stress. At the end of the day, stress doesn't go away. If we're not at our best, if we're not taking care of ourselves, if we're not taking steps to improve our situation, our mindset, our mental and physical well being, actually the stress is going to get harder. We're always going to have some form of stress. The key is for us is to better prepare ourselves to eliminate as much of the stress as possible. Some stress we can eliminate by getting better organized so we have less stress in our day because we're disorganized. If we procrastinate a lot, we need to start taking steps to stop procrastinating, right? And face some of those things and deal with some of those things and just take one or two things off the plate at a time. It's going to reduce the stress. Some of it might be financial stress. We're overspending, we're under earning. We can figure that out, start making cuts, start earning more money, start figuring things out. A lot of times we're overspending because we're satisfying a void as opposed to, you know, being smarter with our money. We're trying to do something else. The stress that most times we're caused, we put ourselves in that situation. Now life stress happens. COVID is crazy. It's affecting everybody. Whether you believe in the COVID virus or not, what's happening in the world and how things are changing is incredibly stressful. It's as stressful as an individual, it's as stressful as a business owner. It's stressful. We can't avoid that. We can't prevent that. But if we're in better shape mentally and physically, we have good structure and we have good practices and rituals, we're going to mitigate that stress more effectively. If we're not having a physical outlet like working out, the stress is going to stay inside us. If we're doing things to deal with the stress that aren't productive, like drinking, like porn, like eating, like binge watching TV, all that does is delay the stress for a little bit and then it comes back with more because it's longer that we didn't face something and odds are whatever we we're avoiding is getting worse. We need to figure out how to be better to deal with stress. We need to actually start taking control. We need to sit down and again, in that half hour earlier that I get people to get uh, start getting up earlier in, start making a plan. Start thinking about what's really affecting you and then start changing the things that you can change now. And then the other things along the way are going to start to get better because you're getting better. Mental stress, I said it a million times, I found it's always worse than physical stress. I'd rather the fucking beat down of a huge workout, seven days in a row, digging ditches on a project outside. I'll take that physical stress any day over the mental stress. Because the problem I have with mental stress, and most of us have, is that it doesn't go away unless we learn techniques to shut it off unless we find other ways to occupy our mind, unless we find other ways to strengthen our mindset to be more positive and put ourselves in positive territory mentally. That's why we look at journaling. That's why we look at reading. That's why we look at meditating. We control how we think, but we have to start to take control about how we think and stop reacting to everything. Because until we stop reacting, we're at the mercy of everything. And that stress is going to keep coming all the time. We've all been in that situation where stress keeps happening and we're like, well, what's going to go wrong next? And if you think that way, you know what happens? The next wrong thing happens. To me, training has become such a thing for me again, a, 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 a newfound passion. It goes beyond the physical transformation, how I feel, how I look. I'm loving all that. Don't get that wrong. But being able to purge some of that stress. If you look at my file at Anytime Fitness, you'll see there's times I show up there at midnight, one, two in the morning, and I'll get on a bike or I'll grab a dumbbell or a barbell and I'll just fucking pound shit out. I'll literally squeeze until the fucking stress is gone, until I'm just so exhausted physically that I can't think about what's bugging me mentally. But it's a chance to get it out of my system. Eating better and feeling better is relieving the stress. And I'll tell you something that a lot of people aren't going to tell you that once you start to make a transformation, you start to make real changes and you start to take control of things in your life, you're going to run into more stress. You're going to run into stress because all of a sudden you're making changes and those around you might not be ready for those changes. They might not be happy with how you're going because maybe it's a reflection for them that they should be doing something or it's making them uncomfortable or you're changing patterns and no one likes to change the status quo. Some of you listening out there are going through that and you're seeing that. But we have to push through that. We have to become better and becoming better. We're going to have positive stresses. We need to aim for the positive stresses. We take on things. We want to accomplish things. We want the stress of working out. We want the stress of having a better schedule. We want the stress of making sure we get our food prep, our meal prep, that we're eating better. We're getting up on time. We're going to bed on time. Those are good stresses. 
those good stresses will start to far outweigh the bad stresses. So we're not going to eliminate stress. We need to turn around and decide what kind of stress we're going to have. And one of the questions I ask everybody at the beginning of everything that I do when I work with them, what is your why? Because if your why is huge and the bigger it is and the more powerful it is, it's going to help you deal with the stress. It's going to make you understand that you have to choose your heart and you have to move forward because the why you're doing it is so important and so overwhelmingly has to be done that you have no choice. So understand there's going to be stress. You decide how you're going to handle it, but put yourself in a position to handle it better.